Husband posted devastating photo of gaunt wife minutes before death to shock women into cancer tests. The picture of Donna Lowe captures the horrific reality of the disease, and Elliot hopes that it will encourage women into booking smear tests. Agony etched on her gaunt face, the picture of Donna Lowe as she lay dying captured the horrific reality of cervical cancer. Minutes later, the 32-year-old mum died and husband Elliot's arms just eight months after being diagnosed. Tragically, she had forgotten to book the smear test which could have saved her. For six months, Elliot kept the shocking photo, right, to himself as he tried to comfort their four kids. But last month he made the brave decision to share it on Facebook in a desperate bid to shock women into booking their smears. His post went viral after being shared nearly 40,000 times. Since then, he has been inundated by mums at the school gate who say he has encouraged them to have their first smear test in years. Elliot who was speaking publicly for the first time, he said, Donna loved being a mum. The kids were everything to her. But she'll never see her grandchildren, never see the kids get married. She knew all this at the end and nobody can understand how that must have made her feel. Choosing to share such a private picture was not easy. But I decided if I could save just one family from this hell, I'd be happy. The response has been overwhelming. I've had messages from all over the world. One woman told me she'd booked her first smear in 20 years. Elliot and Donna had been together 15 years and married in 2009. In the summer of 2016, Donna began suffering crippling pains in her hips and the abdomen. Doctors suggested it might be osteoarthritis. When she began bleeding between periods she was told she might have endometriosis. Former pub landlord Elliot took her to a and &E after she started passing blood clots the size of golf balls. She was diagnosed with cancer three days before Christmas 2016. An emotional Elliot said, When we heard cancer, it was like somebody had switched something off inside us. We were numb. The kids were devastated. Doctors gave Donna a year to live but by July the cancer was in her lungs and she developed pneumonia. She was moved to the hospice, where she told nurses she wanted to die by the lake. Donna was taken into the garden in a wheelchair. Elliot held her as she passed away, with her family around her. For watching more videos please subscribe on, believe it or not.